Attainable and sustainable. Those are the words for this real person keto challenge. We have a simple, easy to follow keto menu. You know what we all need right now? We need something easy and achievable and something that we don't have to think a lot about. Now, when it comes down to budget, this entire menu is going to be very budget focused and budget friendly. That's why I've dubbed it the real person keto challenge. And it's not even really a challenge. It's more of a community thing. So we're starting off here in January and we're going to rock and roll all month. But you can utilize this plan whenever you want because it's probably the most simple down to earth keto plan that still has basic clean principles in it. But it's a little bit more, I guess you could call it lazy. Okay, let's dive in. So what I've done is I've divided it into meal one, meal two, a snack, and then with dinner, I've given you a lot of variety. Now I want you to stick with me on this. What I'm gonna do is over the course of the month, I'm gonna hop on with live broadcasts and I'm gonna answer some questions. I've also put a link down below to a Facebook group. Okay, that way you can join the Facebook group. We get a little bit more interaction there. I know everyone has their opinions on Facebook and whatnot, but it at least gives me just a self-contained group that I can communicate with you. And I've also put a link down below for my newsletter, for my email list. That way I can email you updates and email copies of the meal plan and recipe ideas and everything like that. So utilize those down below. Facebook group and email, okay? That way you can get a little bit more than just what we're talking about here. And I know the whole goal of this is to be super sustainable and super budget friendly and everything like that, but I do wanna give a big thank you and a shout out to ButcherBox who has made this challenge possible. So there's a link down below if you wanna be getting your meat for this challenge through ButcherBox. That way you can step it up a little bit and get the grass-fed, grass-finished meat at a very good price. So that way, the burger that we'll talk about, the uh, chicken that you can use, the fish you can use, all you can get through ButcherBox. So if you use the link down below, you can select that and be able to choose what you really want to get in your ButcherBox. So highly recommend them down below in the description. And thank you, ButcherBox, for helping me out with this challenge so we can bring it to hundreds of thousands of people. It's awesome. So meal one, simple. Three eggs, one sausage link, and you can have coffee or tea, but I want you to do one thing that's a little bit of a healthier twist than just dirty keto. I want you to add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and a tablespoon of ghee to your coffee. Sweeten it how you wish, without sugar, of course. Okay, I'm not gonna be super strict on you this time. If you wanna use a little bit of Splenda, I'm not the fan of it, but you can, okay? I'm not gonna stop you. I want this to be achievable so that people can really experience what it's like to lose weight with keto like I did, okay? Now, optional, you can do this instead if you're on the go. Take a protein shake with about one to one and a half scoops of protein powder, uh, preferably a whey protein isolate or a pea protein. Go ahead and add a tablespoon of heavy cream to it. Make it taste good, get some extra fats, and then a small handful of dry roasted almonds. Please get dry roasted, not regular roasted because they're usually roasted in a bunch of sunflower oil. We wanna make a concerted effort. Same price for dry roasted, right? So very affordable. This breakfast, if you do it right, can cost you well under $3. So you can get good eggs, sausage, coffee, you're good to go. Meal two, some options. Your meat options, seven ounces of burger, skinless thigh, or one can of tuna. I have to be a little bit particular there, but these things, I'm not going to worry as much about the quality if you can just get your hands on this stuff, whether it's through ButcherBox in the link or you end up doing it yourself. Two ounces of cheese. Yep, you get cheese in a Thomas DeLauer menu now. Gouda, Grie, Swiss, goat, or cheddar would be my preferred. Please avoid the cruddy mozzarellas that aren't real mozzarella. Please avoid the cruddy jack. Please, please just avoid the processed stuff. Try to, if you're gonna invest a little bit, invest in higher quality cheese. It, it just comes back full circle. One piece of bacon you can put on your burger, your chicken, or whatever, okay? Then mixed greens with one to two tablespoons of ranch as long it doesn't have soy oil. That's the big thing here. I don't care if you can be relaxed with keto if you do a little bit of dirty keto this month, but I please, please, please avoid the soy oil. Okay, then the optional menu here is gonna be a Cobb salad with five ounces of either chicken or shrimp, or if you have a white fish available, you could do that too. You could also do steak, but I'm trying to keep it budget. Chicken's a little cheaper. Uh, mixed greens, three tablespoons of ranch that does, or blue cheese that doesn't have uh, soy, one slice of bacon, you can have that, one hard boiled egg, one ounce of Roquefort or blue cheese, but I prefer to use Roquefort. It's a little bit more uh, aged in culture, so you can have a little bit more of just the overall probiotic effect that we were going for there. So that's an option. This is, not, this is either or. This is not an option to have with it, okay? Now, ideally, 
I prefer that you do not have snacks in between meals because the goal is we're trying to achieve a lower insulin level and that's going to allow you to have hormone sensitive lipase activated and these different fat burning compounds. However, if you're new to keto, you're new on this, I get it. Okay, you wanna have something that's a little bit more attainable. So here's a snack option. The only rule that I give you is it has to be at least two or three hours clear with no calories coming in between meal two and the snack. So what I would say is like four ounces of cottage cheese, oops, I forgot an E there. Uh, two times uh, chopsticks or good quality beef sticks you could do. But another thing that I could do to be budget friendly is when you cook up a bunch of burger or you cook up a bunch of burgers, also make some two ounce sliders. So get a bunch of beef, cook it up, cook up you know, your, your patties that you need for your overall meat uh, for your meals and then break it down into a few two ounce sliders too. That way you can just have one of those as a little snack. Then here we get into meal number three, the dinner mix and match. Proteins, seven ounces of burger, or six ounces of ground chicken, seven ounces of white fish, as long as it's not tilapia, seven ounces of salmon, one can of tuna, eight ounces, you eat all of that. No, just kidding. You can choose one of these, and it's almost easier for me to say what is a no-go. Okay, a no-go is gonna be tilapia, no albacore, I want chunk light because it's less of mercury content there, and no cheap eggs. Okay, pretty simple, loose rules there. With fats, half of two are okay, so you can pick one of these, or you can choose half of two of them. Three tablespoons butter or ghee, three tablespoons mayo, one avocado, a full avocado or guacamole, uh, 12 to 15 pork rinds. But then I really said, you know what? 30 to 40 grams of fat total. It can come from cheese, any of these fat options that we used before. I'd even be okay with mixing a little heavy cream into the mix, okay? Approved free veggies. This is what's cool. Any time with a meal, you can add any of these veggies quite frankly, as much as you want. I don't expect you to eat a giant bowl of broccoli. So we've got broccoli, we've got kale, we've got chard, we've got cauliflower, celery, radish, rhubarb, regular old lettuce, asparagus, artichoke, and okra. All of these have specific properties that in my opinion, I think you could have unlimited amounts. They're very unlikely to kick you out of keto. They're high butyrate and acetate producing foods and even propionate producing foods, which means they're going to help short chain fatty acid production, which can help you out as far as your energy is concerned and a lot of different things within the body. So simple. It's really easy. Now I want you to go ahead and I want you to comment your starting weight down below so we can have a little bit of community with this and then we're gonna be checking in from time to time throughout the course of the month. So remember, we are doing this real person keto challenge this month and make sure to subscribe via email, make sure to subscribe and go check out the Facebook group and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.